This iPhone charging stand is entirely 3D printed. Now an iPhone is a beautiful piece of product. Regardless of what you feel about any other part of it, it is a beautiful object. And the thing that's frustrating about it is that even though this is amazing, much of the accessories around it are terrible. For example, this case. This case is a rubberized, ugly, terrible thing that would make Steve Jobs turn over in his grave, but it's required for protection of it. Likewise, you require some sort of charger, and many of the accessories out there are some piece of black plastic. And this is where 3D printing can really shine because 3D printing can create a large number of options so that people can find something that matches their taste so that it can match their overall lifestyle. 3D printing can create different colors, different shapes, different aesthetics and functionalities without high upfront molding costs. So in this video, we're gonna go through how to design a number of different iPhone stands. Now, the first thing with all of these iPhone stands is that number one, functionally, they have to do a job. They have to charge. So cutting off the top slot so that it's able to sit at a beautiful angle on all of these is one of the main factors with all of them. But then from there, you go ahead and cut a slot for the wire to come out, nice small groove in the back. With this type of a design, the main thing to make sure that it is manufacturable is to make sure that there are no overhangs and that bed adhesion is minimized, though not to the smallest degree possible. In the bottoms of all of these, we made these conical cutouts. What this does is ensures there's no overhang, but makes sure that both the part sits more level on a table because you don't have to worry about any sort of warp over time. And you have this outer ring so it can easily be auto ejected. So if you wanna make 10,000 of something like this, it's very easy. We started off with a very simple cylinder, and the simple cylinder is great, but it shows off a lot of surface finish, so sometimes if you don't want the layer lines, you might apply a texture to the outside like this. This creates an evolution of a part like this, where you use the ribs, and you can even make these smaller, or turn them into spirals, or anything else along those lines. This one, we demonstrated what it looks like to have the flat bottom versus the conical, and with the flat bottom, you can see the dangers that you can have. You can have contamination, staining, bed connection that just isn't quite right, so there is a lot that has to occur to make that bottom surface look perfect, whereas there is much less that has to occur to make this bottom surface look perfect. Now, expanding from there, you can go ahead and add different shapes, create different colors. Using the capabilities of printing, we're able to do metallic-like colors. So this hexagonal design is actually able to work really well, where you have the charger embedded in there and the phone MagSafe's right onto there. We also added the texturing to the outside to again make it look very premium, and you have this wonderful object that could sit on a nightstand or in a hallway when people come in, and they can just snap their phone onto there and the thing start charging. Origin. But you can go even further than this because you're able to create this really wonderful shape. We went for a bulb, this rounded shape. This is wood filled PLA. And with wood, you're able to get a lot more out of it. And the real advantage of printing is, is that you can create all of these variations, add them to an e-commerce store. And then based on what people purchase, you can expand that design. If people liked the basic cylinder, you can expand to the different colors or start expanding the basic concept of that basic cylinder. And you're effectively a b testing different types of products. So this charger is a great model of how to do design of products for 3D printing. You have zero upfront cost effectively. You can use giant print farms like ours to get the scale and the fulfillment, and then you're able to focus on the actual product design to get something that is really beautiful and something that your customers really want, and you can chase down all the options that people could have without inundating them with choices by saying, oh, customize it, put your name on it. Don't do that, that's terrible. But you can create a large skew count so that anyone's individual taste can be matched by whatever it is that you're creating. And with accessories like iPhone chargers, there are a lot of new variations needed and when the new iPhone or iPad or whatever other type of device comes out, there may need to be recreations of these accessories in order to be compatible with the new version. This applies to tools, phones, machines, whatever it happens to be, accessories have to continuously evolve and be very quick to change which is exactly what mass production 3D printing is really good at. If you would like to get access to these files and sell them on your Etsy store or on Shopify or anywhere else you want to, heck, put them on Amazon, you can go ahead and get these over at Angled. And if you would like to sell them on your Etsy store without having to run a 3D printer, we have our Etsy plugin that lets you have access to our entire print farm to print and ship any of the items that you have that are ordered. So it's a really good way to scale up your operations. But if you just wanna get a cool charger for yourself, go ahead and grab the files and you can print them yourself. Have a great day, everybody.